Hey guys, today's video is about the shadow drop effect inside Affinity Designer version 2, but you can also use this effect in Affinity Designer version 1 the same way. And in this video you will learn how you can create this shadow drop effect, how you can remove it, and I will also show you some important features you need to know. And we are starting with a new document for this example and before we begin just for your knowledge you can use this effect with any object in affinity designer so not only with text but also with shapes curves images and so on and we are starting with text for this example selecting the graphic text tool or the artistic text tool in the tools bar typing uh, clicking right here to type in for example affinity um, making it bigger. I've chosen the font Morsera, which is a free Google font, making it bigger and adjusting to f uh, in the uh, moving in the middle of our document by having snapping activated. And now if we want to create this shadow drop effect, we need to select the object first we want to use it with. So in this case, our text field affinity, and we can select it right here with the move tool in our design space or in our layers tab. So we can, we will um, get to the image later on in this video. So we can select, for example, right here the text. And then we have two possibilities. The first one is clicking right here on layer effects. And you see outer shadow right here and all the settings. We will um, talk about this later on in this video. And you can also use the um, quick um, method, which is quick FX right here. And moving down to outer shadow, we can click right here and we now um, see that we can make uh, pop this out, this tab. And then we have all the settings for our quick um, um, creation of this shadow drop effect. The first setting is the color setting. We can click on it and we have all the color possibilities we already know from Affinity Designer. So for example, right here, RGB hex slider with our hex code or U. Um, to select a color and then have um, different tones of this color. Or we can also use our um, color picker right here by holding down and moving. We can choose any color of our um, design we want to. So for example, if we want to um, make the shadow color fit more to the overall design, so it looks better overall, we can use the color picker, click right here to select. And then we have the opacity and we have the radius. We can set up the radius and offset first. So we see a little shadow. And with the radius, you can um, decide um, how blurry and spread out you want to have the um, shadow. So if you see that if we go up, it gets more blurry. If we go down, it is more like a transparent version of our text um, behind the text. And with the offset, we can decide how far we want to offset our shadow so only a little bit or very much and we can also use uh, it um, the manual setting right here the manual um, field to type in so for example going with 10 for radius or 5 for radius will do and 15 for offset and we can also change the angle right here by holding down and moving clicking holding and moving we will go with 315 degrees right here. And of course you can set up the opacity. So it looks exactly the same, which is not um, very uh, a good way to create a shadow um, in the same color with 100% opacity, but it's up to you. You can use this to select the exact opacity you want to. So in this case, I think 50% was looking good. And you have now two possibilities to get more. Um, adjustment possibilities. The first one is clicking right here where you get to the layer effects exactly just using this little icon right here or you can also use the way I've showed you before clicking right here and going right here layer effects and then you have the possibility to um, um, adjust even more of this shadow drop effect. You have also a really cool feature which is, which is the scale with object feature. I will show this with a picture so that you can see that you can also use this effect with pictures. So we are deleting this one real quick and blending in the picture. I've chosen just a simple um, image from Unsplash, which you can download for free. So I'm moving this in the middle of our document like this. We go with quick FX, we go with shadow, black is okay, 50% is okay, and some radius, some offset and our angle something like this 
looks good. And if we now click right here, we have the possibility to click scale with object. We have only have this possibility in the layer effects and not in the quick FX. If we click right here, it happens that if we resize our image, the shadow um, gets bigger with our image. So it um, still has the same proportions towards our image. You also see this that radius and offset changes according to our image size. And if we don't click scale with object, we have the problem if you resize, the shadow gets, uh, so if you make it smaller, the shadow gets bigger. And if you make it bigger, the shadow gets smaller because it stays the same in terms of the radius and offset pixel size. So keep that in mind. You can um, select scale with object only in the layer effects. And it is really helpful if you still need to resize your object and you want to keep um, the exact same proportions from shadow to object. So to remove a shadow, you make to uh, you have to make sure to exact uh, to um, select the exact same object with the shadow. So in this case, our image. And um, this may be hard if you, for example, have right here a rectangle, and we select both and group them. And we have a group, and we go now to Quick FX. We sh we see we don't have a shadow, but we have a shadow with our image. So you have to make sure to um, to exactly select the image with which has the shadow to remove the shadow. So in this case, open up the group or um, ungroup and click on the image, and then we can remove the shadow by um, clicking right here again. So it's not selected anymore, and it will be. Um, um, not shown anymore and we can um, reactivate our shadow by simply clicking again with our previous settings. So I need to um, search it real quick. Here it is, our shadow and you see we have the exact same settings we had before again. So we can simply um, turn it off or on again. So in this case turn it off and again on for the next important feature and one important feature in Affinity Designer as well is that you can drop this effect exactly to other objects and you can do this with all of the quick FX layer, F, uh, layer effects effects by simply you see that after giving effect you have it right here shown by simply um, clicking holding and then drag and drop to the um, other object and drop and you see the exact same effect will be um, will be um, given to this this object where you dropped it and this work works with all of the quick fx effects not only with the um, shadow drop effect so yeah that's gonna do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye